For this week's screencast, I wanted to give a quick and casual tour of the latest build of Impulse. Uh, when you start Impulse, you're going to be faced first with the store screen, which is going to show some uh, uh, feature products we have. And then down here, you have a more detailed view. And with these tabs, you can just navigate if you want to see games, uh, desktop, tools, office, the demos, etc. Then you click the expand view, and that will give you a, uh, a wider view here. And if you any product, you can also select uh, details. And you can get a more detailed view. And you can purchase or download the demo from this page here. And up here, you can just click the home button and be taken right back to where you started. Now up here, the blue orb, this is going to give you access to the preferences and settings of Impulse. Uh, clicking it will give you some quick preferences if you want to enable or disable the fast startup or disable the custom skin or um, prompt for in, uh, impulse updates uh, things like that you can go to preferences here to get to the full menu most of the same options um, if you want to get access to pre-release uh, alphas and betas of either games or applications you want to make sure this is checked Moving down to connection, you have some other settings. Uh, if anybody ever tells you to change your server settings, this is where you would do it. You can also opt to choose to use the new download mechanism. This is what you want to do if you have any kind of connection problems. In the folder setting, just some uh, various settings for folders and uh, file locations. Moving on, we go to the community tab. And down here you have some other uh, tabs. Uh, here's the driver tab. So depending on what driver's uh, video card you have installed on your computer, you'll have a screen that will enable you, enable you to check and download new drivers if needed. Moving on to the forums tab, this is going to bring you to the user forums where you can participate with other users, all kinds of uh, categories. And moving over to chat, this is where you can connect to the uh, Stardock IRC server. And you can chat with other users here. Over to the friends tab, this is where you can keep track of your friends and uh, their activity. If they made a comment or made a new blog post, uh, anything of that sort, you can keep track of it here. You can uh, add and find friends, or you can manage uh, friend requests if someone sends you a friend request. You can do all kinds of that stuff here. Uh, moving on to the games. Here, if you want to join or create a game, like for instance here, we have uh, several games of the Political Machine 2008 going on. Here you can view the players, uh, the game types, and you can select the different kind of games that are available to do uh, multiplayer through Impulse. And clicking the news will bring you the latest Impulse news of uh, latest releases or things happening with Impulse. And the community tab. This will be the front page of uh, ImpulseDriven.net. You have uh, blog sites, feature articles, um, comments, forums, you have access to all that up here. You can have your own blog site if you want. It's quite handy. There's a lot of people writing some uh, uh, really cool things on there. So you might definitely want to check that out. And clicking the home, tag, well, home, ta uh, home button will take you back to the community front page. And next up we have the updates. And you see updates has a little highlight on it and that means there is uh, an update for one of the applications I have installed through Impulse which is happens to be Sound Packager. And if there's uh, multiple updates you can also click update all and that will download and install the update. And going over to the my desktop available and installed uh, desktop applications you have. Uh, anything from your object desktop components to my colors themes, um, free applications like Logon Studio, uh, we have Cursor Effects, Object Doc, all those applications you're going to find right here. You can manage them from here. 
You can view the uh, history of them. Uh, you can go right to the forums. You can check out your registration or you can get more info and you can choose to install or uninstall from here. Going over to my games, basically the same thing. This time we're dealing with uh, games. Um, this is all your available games that are either downloaded or available to download. Clicking up here, you can actually add your own sub tab up here. Uh, here I'll create a new one, we'll call it Stardock, and the filter type, we'll use it as publisher. And the criteria we use is for Stardock Entertainment, so all the games that are uh, created and published by Stardock is going to show on that tab only. So this is great because if you have a huge list of games and you want to separate them by different criteria, this is the perfect way to go for it. And same thing, you can download and manage all the games from this area as well. Uh, same thing with My Office. We have uh, applications uh, available like uh, CorelDRAW, um, Painter, PaintShop Pro. Um, under the tools, we have uh, applications from GenieSoft, um, Multiplicity, KeepSafe, things like that. And you can even press to create your own tab or manage the ones that are here. Uh, you can also drag shortcuts and applications to this window when you create a tab and pretty much customize it with your applications the way you want. And that's pretty much the tab layout and, and, and the basic functions of that. Uh, moving over to the little key here, that you can click that to edit your registration. So clicking that's going to bring up all the registrations you have for your given account. And if you need to add a registration, simply add your serial number you got when you purchased. It'll add it here. Or click a specific um, registration and you can uh, update it with a, a new number or anything like that. Or if you need to renew, you can also do that from here. Very handy. And you have some other buttons here. You can view your current, current downloads, if any. Um, up here we have the um, what I'm logged in as under the email address. And we have a help button here, so if you need to look up your serial number, you can do that from here. Or register, or uh, view logs, help, anything like that, you can get to that from here. And this button up here is uh, will minimize the impulse to the impulse dock. Uh, that's something I'll go into in another screencast, but that's what you do. You can click that. And that pretty much sums up the latest build of impulse, just some of the basic uh, quick tour uh, things you can do. Uh, Impulse is a free download and you can get that at www.impulsedriven.com and I will see you next week.